Music is considered to be culturally universal and present across all parts of the globe, reshaping the ways humans live, express themselves, and convey emotions. Humans have been expressing themselves through music for a very long time. It is believed that music originated from naturally occurring sounds and rhythms that humans echoed by merging them in patterns, making repetitions while changing tonality, using their voice, hand clapping, and smacking stones and sticks and other objects around them. For example, one of such ambient sound is rain. It has a calming and a relaxing effect. Even now, since early humans felt safe during the rain while predators do not hunt, music has also served and helped humans in terms of survival, forging a sense of group identity and mutual trust. The voice box, which allowed humans to sing, first emerged about a million years ago, and they learned how to use it around 530,000 years ago. The voice box is considered the first music instrument. Besides voice and hands, the earlier instruments were the objects found in the environment, such as sticks and stones. Some authors argue that since the oldest instruments found are so sophisticated, such as the 40,000-year-old bone flute, there must have been less sophisticated instruments used by humans before. Nevertheless, the humans have made and used rapidly evolved together with the complexity of music compositions in the last couple of centuries. In this period, a variety of string, brass, percussion, and woodwind instruments have evolved from earlier, less sophisticated ones. As newer technologies are introduced, other ways of creating, producing, interacting with, and even sharing music are also taking place. Media interfaces, electric guitars, and synthesizers are just some of the devices made of circuits that imitate traditional music instruments, and these can be connected to the computer. Novel algorithms, music information retrieval, and artificial te intelligence techniques allow us to work with and create new music content. With the advent of social media platforms, sharing music on a grand scale has become a norm. Throughout this evolution, one of the main components of music is expressing and generating emotions. Changes in vocal parameters occurring during speech, as well as singing, have been shown to affect our state of emotions. It has also been confirmed that sadness, happiness, and other emotions can be communicated to listeners by music composers. As such, music is considered as a popular and easily applicable means for triggering emotions and is globally consumed by everyone. We listen to music in order to make us happy, sad, to reminisce, or to reflect on our emotions. This paper attempts to share our visions on how humans will consume and interact with music in the future. We present our position based on the trends in how music instruments and music consumption have evolved throughout the history. These visions have also emerged from shared ideas in our small crowdsourcing study we conducted online. We present two scenarios of how future music consumption might look like. Lastly, we present questions and challenges that provoke discussions involving usability, security, intellectual property, and many other relevant key topics in music. Humans create and conceal music for four different purposes. Dancing as social exercise, providing a common form of personal love community entertainment, communicating ideas and emotions, and having and celebrating rituals and other activities. While these purposes come in handy for a variety of music activities, this position paper is focusing on music listening only. This is present in where listening is a shared experience, as well as in listening can be a shared and also a personal experience. Music is not just about sounds, as it is also rhythmic vibrations. For an example, it has been noted that the part of the brain responsible for hearing was per works perfectly in deaf people as well. In order to feel music, we do not need to hear it but rather receive the vibrations to the hearing region of the brain. Because of this, we envision a future where we don't need external devices to be able to hear music. Rather, we will be listening to music within our brain in a seamless way. Currently, researchers are already experimenting, ex experimenting with microcontrollers 
plugged into the brain and we envision having similar devices plugged into the hearing part of our brain. Sound signals will be delivered straight into our auditory cortex. People will no longer have to depend on their ears to listen and hear things, such as people could enjoy music even while spacewalking, diving or skiing or surfing. At the same time, we envision a future where biological and artificial objects around us will be connected to the cloud where they will have access to a superb computing power. These objects will be equipped with, for example, nanochips that will allow them to be part of the global link of information and capable of moving it depends on their needs. This is partly also a vision of IoT, which we are expanding to music listening. These technologies will allow humans and objects to telepathically communicate. In the future, humans will be able to amplify their emotions by the music naturally produced by the objects surrounding them. Traditionally, there are two ways on how music will become a gateway for our emotions. If we feel sad, we wish to hear music so we can reflect, dive deeper and understand the sadness that we feel. This experience gives us lessons on how to manage our emotions and how to grow stronger. At times, we may feel sad, so we will hear music in order to improve our mood and spend the better part of our days. In our Envision interface, humans can create gateways for the emotions with music. Algorithms will design and produce rhythms in on the fly and have them played via vibration by these nearby objects. Humans will simply need to think of the emotions and sounds and the object nearby them will seamlessly produce the vibrations recreating these sounds. Objects around us will produce a unique rhythm, providing a new definition of audio augmented reality. Humans will get to enjoy their favorite sounds and rhythms through this seamless interface and play directly in their minds. Humans will be able to listen and consume music, various sounds while performing daily tasks at the same time. As humans are connected to the global highway of information, sensors no longer need to detect and distinguish the current effect that they feel. Because of their neurological connection to the world, their emotions are easily read by the objects around them. Similar to how empathetic spaces that are context and emotion aware, objects nearby will be act as local producers of music to either amplify or address the emotions that humans are feeling. 